Elixir. The secret of the eternal path, a prize sought by the sovereigns of old. Among them was the first emperor of the Qin, who lusted for immortality. The result of his quest to obtain the forbidden medicine was a catastrophe. The elixir's power proved overwhelming. And in the years following the dynasty's demise, it continued to exert a shadowy influence on conflict and political machinations. Many moons pass, and the Han Empire faces its final days. In these dark times, Elixir once again threatens to become the catalyst that awakens the dragons lying dormant across our land. Thank you for saving me. I'm glad you've recovered from your injuries. I found you, bearer of the eternal elixir field. <laughs> As long as we have you, victory is still possible. Consider that a talisman of protection. It may just save your life one day. I cannot allow this travesty to continue. Let us depart. Take this. I'm sure it will prove useful. It's a medicine created from refined chi. With it, you can heal most wounds. Come <laughs> on. 
trusting you. I don't think we will be able to pass through this way. Perhaps if we can climb past that watchtower. Estimating an enemy with high morale is certain to end badly for you. residence. This is barbaric. So the yellow turbans won't even stay their swords for the elderly.
to get this far but it's not over yet ah uh, yes once we rid this area of enemies might we be able to stop by my house there's something i wish to give you as thanks soon enough. victory. I hope that everyone who escaped the brutality has gotten to safety now. I sense a great danger ahead. Do be careful. Dogs of the Han Court, are you? Any who oppose us? 
shall know only the end of our blades! I'll crush you! Like the vermin you are! Very well. Now, the village is safe. By my head. Why are you- You shall die! He Every bit as strong as the rumors say.
This world is steeped in chaos. It needs one like you to bring peace to it. I cannot let you die. Enough. You're badly wounded. <laughs> Back to camp. Go. Forgive my rudeness earlier. A malicious soldier, are you? If so, would you kindly lend your courage to me? I lead the forces of General Gongsun. My name is Zhao Yun. The Yellow Turbans have control of Mount Dongshan. You don't look short of confidence, but surely it would be reassuring to have an ally at your side. will serve you well. Good. <laughs> 
Scouts went to reconnoiter the enemy, but have not returned. I came to rescue them, but have no clues as to their whereabouts. And just look at them. They were so starved they couldn't possibly have fought back. The yellow turbans must be stopped, or our land will be ravaged beyond recognition.
Take down their leader to gain control of the situation. Let us go together. My ally. That was quite the mighty blow they dealt. Even I would not wish to be in the power of that. That said, we may be able to turn it against them. This will deal a sharp blow to the enemy's morale. to be careful here. Yeah! <laughs> 
concerned for our scouts. This is a race against time. We must hurry. This is a fearsome enemy here. We shouldn't get in over our heads. Let's consider falling back. We will have to make a stand here. This foe may pose us a challenge. Be sure to keep your guard up!
You fought well, my friend. That was a sight to behold. I cannot understand how one as strong as you could have gone unnoticed. Your force was like that of a dragon soaring heavenward. <sighs> My companion wore a smile as he departed this life, falling on the field of battle. I was unsure of what I ought do to protect those dear to me. But you, a warrior as valiant as a dragon, have shown me the way. I, Zhao Yun, shall pierce through the darkness, enveloping our age. An army of a hundred thousand might stand in my way, but it would matter not. For like a majestic Chilin, I shall carve out a road to peace. Fallen!
Oh-ho! I don't believe you're from around here, are you? Well, it's a world of chaos out there these days, wherever you go. Without a weapon you can rely on, you're practically a dead man walking. Sorry, where are my manners? I'm a traveling blacksmith. Name's Jusha. I'm out here trying to hone my craft, hoping to master it one day. Have a look at my work, if you please. I'm sure you'll find something that catches your eye. County office. Fallen to ruin now serves the yellow turbans as a base. It mirrors uncanny accuracy. Yeah, yeah. Some 
this one might pose us some trouble. Feel your pulse quickening. You will soon see why. Just make sure that you are ready. Yeah. <laughs> 
You need something? There. We're done for here. I had hope. Execution ground, didn't you know? <laughs> the Tianju hermits will get no mercy. That goes for the women as well.
this victory, we move a step closer to peace. You saved me. Thank you. You are lucky to be alive. However, I am not the one you should think. My name is Hongjin, and I've been investigating the Yellow Turbans. That jade is... <sighs> I must leave you now. I advise you to head to Guangzong, to the Yellow Turbans' headquarters. It would be an immense boost to the Imperial forces if you were to join the ranks. Ha! Would you mind taking me along? Won't you stop, Yida? Don't be so reckless, Yida. These brave warriors saved my life. Huh? What? Mm. <laughs> my apologies. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> <sighs> okay. It's time to find out how strong you really are. How about we play a little game? Who can take out the most rebels? You or I. I was told that a great sage once lived here in secrecy. And apparently, the area became known as Guegugo Valley or the Ogre's Domain, because of him. Doesn't exactly fill one with confidence, does it? I am Leo Bei, leader of the Militia of the Jewel Commandery, along with my two sworn brothers. They need help, so may I ask that you go in my stead? I will not be far behind. Few in number, we have struggled to advance. Ha! 
Without hesitation, my blade is always at your service. Yes! My serpent spear hungers for blood! Remember you? What a small world it is we live in. I've heard of your exploits, and I have to say, I'm impressed. Every blacksmith dreams of having a client of your caliber, you know. Have the advantage.
some safe haven, somewhere I could concentrate without having to be on edge constantly.
those rocks get piled up like that?
thing. It sure is one cute critter. Maybe it's hungry. It's got a greedy look like it's trying to say, give me something. thought they were friendly and dare I even say cute demons out there huh. however I will not allow my beard to be nibbled <laughs> take heed in your step as we proceed This far. It's 
Someone inform the general of Earth at once! worth far more than its weight in gold. <laughs> enemy is almost upon us. Please, my lord, order a retreat. Do not falter, for our mission is clear. To bring the world under the yellow heaven. Oh. Oh. Those foolish enough to stand before us shall know true regret for their folly. Your service. <laughs> 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 
the enemy is attempting to rally. Raise yourself! <laughs> He can blather away in the afterlife now. Brother, you know what to do. <laughs> hmm? Come on, let's get it done. <sighs> Dragon of Heaven, bear witness to our unshakable bond and unbreakable will. Corrupt officials, eh? That's good. I will do justice to them for what the law has not done. My dutiful blade has slain thousands of scoundrels. And yet there's no end to it. It's as if this war only claims the decent men, leaving nothing but scum. As true warriors, we are honor-bound to defend the innocent. I'll prove I'm no mere brawler. I want to see people smiling again, and I'll do what it takes so they can. With chivalry in our hearts, let our strength match that of the Chinlong itself. What a feeling! We've not done that since back at the Peach Orchard. Indeed. My soul has not been stirred like that for some time. Brother, you are unharmed. The Yellow Turban soldiers have left the area. Take the path behind the altar and go to Guansong. <laughs> we will follow and no doubt meet again. Assuming you don't get yourselves killed! Our oh, 10,000 men are pitted against 20,000. Have you a plan, Commandant Chow? Part of our forces will serve as bait and distract the enemy. Utilizing the diversion, a separate force will target Zhang Jiao. Not bad. But... How will we split their forces? Zhang Jiao is no fool. If he remains hmm. guarded... Hmm? Hmm? A secret route we discovered earlier. It's likely our best option. Hmm. <laughs> Excellent. What a wondrous turn of events. And I shall take this one with me. As you please. 
A tiger with prey in its sights won't be diverted after all. Come fight alongside me. And you might make a name for yourself. Tiger is prowling impatiently. Show him you fear not his fangs. We can get to the secret path from the cliff over there. Please, follow me. Oh, I hadn't considered that possibility. How did you find that out? The chi there is being distorted by something evil. Tracing the flow led me to what I believe to be the source. <coughs> it could be the yellow turban's base. A distorted flow of chi, you say? That explains the rumors of there being demons in the enemy camp. So we've more than just hapless rebels to deal with, then. I shall relish the opportunity to wield my claws. Hey! Another day, another copper. If there's anything you need, let me know. This is someone you've met before? I'm a blacksmith. Name's Jusha. My aim's to become a master blacksmith, and so I travel the land, honing my craft. And what business does such a beauty have with a humble smithy like myself? <laughs> you certainly talk the talk of a good trader. Although this is a far from ideal place to do business, surely. If you went to where my allies are, you'd likely fare better. <laughs> Why, as it happens, I'd been thinking of settling down somewhere a little calmer. Thank you kindly for the offer. Once I'm finished up here, I'll make my way there. Hey! Another day, another copper. If there's anything you need, let me know. of Xuanzhen shall be made known to all. they've got. These rebels genuinely believe the lies spewed by Sun Chao in the light. And so I expect they'll fight to the last. <laughs> Commandant Chao and I have been ordered by the court to capture this fort. But with no reinforcements, we were having trouble thinking of a strategy. company out here.
There looks to have been especially fierce fighting here. This is their front line of defense. If we're not careful here, things could turn ugly. Victory is in sight! Charge!
Your spirit gives me strength! of this fight are yours. Do as you wish with them. and you should find something around here. turbans have plunged the land into yet deeper turmoil. We soldiers now have these fiendish demons to contend with. And meanwhile, those we fight to protect are suffering <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
and that we've remained loyal to the Imperial Court while lamenting what it's become. In fact, his devotion may exceed even mine. His strategic noose and ability to bring out the best of his subordinates are next to none. It would be a terrifying prospect to have to face him as an opposing general.
with each step. It may be your last. Your warrior spirit gives me strength!
option but to fall back. <laughs> J 
drink. Uh, Hurry up and drink, for there is no other way. <laughs> Prosperity for all. So that's so job, eh? I shall stop this feverish demigod here! not to be overshadowed. The glory of this victory is all yours this time. <clears throat> Who is this strange person? <laughs> <laughs> What a foul aura. Oh, you. You do not fear this chi. You are wasted as a militia soldier. Clan's strength rivals even that of a ferocious tiger. Our descendants are destined to establish their own dominance one day. But before that, we will have to deal with that malicious Chi, who will cut through the darkness that engulfs this world. 
Will it be I? Or perhaps it will be you, my worthy rival. Commandant Chow must be told what happened here. I must make haste. <sighs> this chaos, is it all his fault? I need to let the Master know, right away. Will you join me? The stars illuminating the night sky tell us all about our fates. The star of Zhang Zhao, the leader of the Yellow Turban Rebellion that upturned our world, was extinguished along with his life. But war is not so easy to quell, and the stench of death yet rises from the earth. The source of destruction stems from the greed of the very men who swore to protect the land. And so, our brave heroes must stand once more against injustice. Back at last, Hong Jing. So it so was worried, you know? <laughs> it's not every day we get a visitor. Uh, yes, I know. But there's no time to explain now, sorry. Master! Master! Demon showed up on the mountain. He went to find out what's going on. Thank you for letting me know. I'm very worried. But we need to prepare properly if we're going up the mountain. Ah, so you're the one who came with Hong Jing. Now that you're here, why don't you settle down for a while? Feel free to ask anyone around if there's anything you need to know. Welcome! Good to see you again. It's been wonderful here. No bloodthirsty demons around, just lots of kind folk. As a result, I'm making great progress. One day I really ought to express my gratitude somehow. Mount Tanju Shan wait ready. Mount Tanju ready. We have to find my master. We best head for the summit. Don't worry, I know the mountain like the back of my hand.
Master would get furious and I'd hide in the bamboo woods. And then my brother would always come to find me. But never mind that. We should get moving. <laughs> is all right. <sighs> Let's keep this up! Here is becoming more frustrated. It's not like it was at one time. Don't drop your guard for a second.
road to the future opens. Thank you for the help. <sighs> the body's internal sources of energy from which chi flows are known as elixir fields. Depending on its application, chi can convert to either a genuine state or a demonic one. We hermits of Tianzhu, dwelling far from prying eyes in the mountains, harness genuine chi to wield wizardly spells. We have tracked the course of man's destiny for countless ages. Yet we have now entered a time of ceaseless war that has flooded the land with demonic chi and even allowed vile demons to roam unchecked. Fate intended for us to meet here. So I ask you, will you help me hunt down those responsible for this plague of demonic chi? Your chi's will restore light to this age of darkness. Even Vice is taken a liking to you, it seems. I never imagined I'd see this mountain overrun with demons. It goes to show that the demonic chi is still rife. Master! You shouldn't overexert yourself. Hearing you say that... <laughs> ...really makes me wish I was young again. Ah, I take it you have new information? <laughs> Let's return post-haste. I see. That explains why the yellow turbans had been infused with demonic chi. This reminds me of something. I'm sure I had it somewhere around mm -mm -mm. Ah, here here we are elixir is formed of chi and to create a genuine brew an immense quantity is needed A quantity near impossible to gather without a huge loss of life, such as that which is caused by war or disaster. Gathering it also requires a vessel, an elixir field housed within a human. But not just any. Only the elixir field of a descendant of a lineage blessed by dragons may prove sufficient. I think we can reasonably conclude that the genuine elixir is connected to the current disturbances. Master, have you any idea who the Taoist atop the dragon was? <laughs> there are more than a few Taoists who wouldn't flinch at such foul things. But to find out who it is, we may simply need to track down the source of demonic chi. <sighs> then our next destination is... The capital. There is a high official in Luoyang, regarding whom there are countless unsettling rumors. <clears throat> Let's set off. <sighs> you must be careful. And keep an eye on Hong Jin. <laughs> she has a reckless side.
Perhaps it runs in the family. Huh? Huh? You've come here to me because there's something you want, am I right? Led by Zhang Zhao, the Yellow Turban started out aiming to overthrow the rule of the House of Han. Taking their name from the garment they wore, their cause was to build another system for all. But they've degenerated into mere pillagers. It's sad enough to turn one to drink. Don't ever forget the value of your life. <sighs> I could use some more sleep. Maybe I'm overworking. The rumors about him, of course. Could the high official master spoke of be the famous Zhang Rong? Let's set off to Luoyang straight away. We'll break into the residence and find out what we need to know. On your way with you! <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> You're late, Amon. And, who are they? You will enjoy this. They are the ones who took down Zhang Jiao. And I came upon them by chance. Who would not be tempted to bring them along? Is that so? I'm Yun Chao, Colonel of the Central Army. I've known Chao Chao since he was a stripling. Hmm. Even the counselors of state can approach Jiang Yang now. And yet, that doesn't mean nothing can be done. As I expected. So this well is a secret passage. Very well. I will lead the way. However, if this passage is blocked, there's no way back. We should leave a lookout here. I will be on watch. Jiang Rang is a high unit that controls many political fields. 
Yet he has not been seen in the Imperial Court for a long time. No, instead he is said to hide away in that manner of his that uses a malicious chi. Many have gone to inspect his activities, believing him to be involved with that dubious elixir. But so far, no one has returned. In order to stop the spread of this elixir, we must first grasp its origin. But we must work delicately, otherwise we risk a little bit of our investigation. This will be no easy feat, but I know I can achieve this with you. As you slew Zhang Zhao, I expect you saw the strange elixir he was using. That is what Amon and I are searching for, as we believe it to be the chief cause of the chaos that plagues the state. I would hazard that Zhang Rang built this dungeon on his own purse. There's no other way he could have kept the trusted servant of the court such as I, ignorant of its existence otherwise. 